few moments, but first, inside the world of Carlos Marcelo. He was the godfather of New Orleans who died this month, but beyond that, some investigators believe he was behind the murder of John F. Kennedy. Nancy Glass with our report. We can't say who has been hit, if anybody's been hit, but apparently something is wrong here. Something is terribly wrong. On November 22, 1963, while almost every American was mourning the assassination of John F. Kennedy, some were celebrating. One was this man, the then Teamsters Union President Jimmy Hoffa, whose corrupt hold on the Teamsters had been challenged by both Jack and Bobby Kennedy. I can't remember what you talked about, and you can't remember what it, whether he was in wouldn't your wouldn't have done anything of any importance, Mr. Kennedy, and I can't recall it. Another was Santo Traficante, head of organized crime in Florida. And for Traficante's closest ally, it was a double celebration. Carlos Marcello, who controlled organized crime in New Orleans, was acquitted of perjury and conspiracy charges the same day. All three had good reason to hate the Kennedys, who had targeted them in their war on the mob. Marcello had once been deported by Bobby Kennedy in a move some described as a judicial kidnapping. It didn't stick. How are you feeling today? Beautiful. Marcello died last week, died and anymore. he may have taken the secret of the century to his grave. The House Select Committee on Assassinations concluded that Kennedy had probably been assassinated as a result of a conspiracy, and they singled out Carlos Marcello as a prime suspect. Few outsiders have penetrated the secret world of the mob as deeply as John Davis, author of Mafia Dynasty on the Gambino family and Mafia Kingfish on Marcello. Did you kill the president? No. I've he uncovered compelling time. evidence that both that Lee Harvey yet. Oswald, charged with the assassination by Dallas police, and Jack Ruby, who murdered Oswald, were linked to Marcello. He's been shot. He's been shot. Marcello's organized crime empire extended to Dallas, where Ruby ran a strip club, the Carousel. Ruby um, was active in illegal gambling, in slot machines, and in uh, drug trafficking and prostitution. And uh, he could not have worked at, in, at those activities in Dallas without Marcello's okay. Some of Ruby's dancers at the carousel, like Janet Conforto, also appeared at Marcello's clubs in New Orleans. And Ruby was on intimate terms with Marcello's top lieutenant in Dallas, Joseph Civillo. Civillo and Ruby uh, knew each other and did business with each other. Davis says Ruby telephoned one of Marcello's capos before the assassination, and another of Marcello's men was Ruby's first visitor in prison. Marcello also had a number of links with Lee Harvey Oswald. One was through this man, David Ferry, who worked for Marcello. Ferry met with Marcello on the mobster's 6,000-acre spread in Louisiana and was also a known associate of Oswald. Ferry was questioned at great lengths about his association with Marcello and, uh, and his association with Oswald. And just as the investors, investigators were beginning to get somewhere with this line of questioning, FBI Director uh, Hoover uh, terminated the investigation of Ferry. Oswald had other links to Marcello. His uncle had been a Marcello operative, and Oswald had worked for him in the summer of 1963. But the most compelling link between Marcello and the assassination comes from Frank Regano, Regano was an attorney who had represented Santo Traficante, Carlos Marcello, and Jimmy Hoffa. He told his story to New York Post writer Jack Newfield. He originally delivered a message from Jimmy Hoffa to Carlos Marcello and Santo Traficante to assassinate President Kennedy. After the assassination, Regano says he took a message back to Hoffa from Marcello. And he only had one thing to say. He said, you go back to Jimmy and tell him that he owes me big. Regano also says he heard a deathbed confession from Traficante implicating Marcello. Quote, we should have killed Bobby, not Jack. And close quotes. But the best evidence that Marcello led a mob conspiracy to assassinate President Kennedy may lie locked away in the Justice Department.
Marcelo's conversations were secretly recorded when he was the subject of an unrelated investigation in 1979 and 1980. They were later sealed by a trial judge as prejudicial. An assistant director of the FBI told Professor Robert Blakey, who was counsel to the House Assassination Committee, that these tapes implicate Marcello in the assassination. We are now uh, making an effort to have those four tapes released as a part of all the Kennedy assassination papers. Carlos Marcello was one of the last of an era's mafia dons. But if secret FBI tapes are released, not all of his secrets will be buried with him. Now, before leaving office, former President Bush did sign an order that could release new information on JFK's assassination. It is not clear yet whether the Marcello tapes will be included.